All right, boys, we got ourselves a raid. The Murdunf Mech Hive is arriving imminently. We've got one over here. Uh, I can't really tell where the other one... Oh, here's another one right there. I can see it flying in and another one down here someplace. So my plan is let's get everybody. Let's get them on alert, get them down here. Whoa! Hey, that's actually... That's actually... God, I'm a freaking professional commentator, don't you know? But that's actually pretty good because it's going to land right near to them. That's what I want to see. All right, let's see what happens. Hello? Hello? Okay, it opened up. We got ourselves a Lancer with a charge lance. Good. Over here, we've got ourselves a Pike Man with a needle gun normal. And then where the heck is the third one? Looks like when I zoom out, I was hoping to see like an icon for them, like an enemy icon, but I actually don't see that anywhere. Oh, he's way up. Is that him? Yes, there he is. Another Lancer with a charge lance thousands of miles away. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to try to move out a little bit. There we go. Whoa, Monk, where the water are you doing? Get away, Monk, get away. Okay, what just happened? Monk just got shot in the right leg. Whoo, 29 out of 30. Monk, hide. Oh, oh, my God. How is this how I start this? He got shot in the left foot and the right leg. Fortunately, somehow, both of them have one hour or one hit point remaining. <laughs> Well, that's not really my plan right there, to be honest. So, just gonna say that wasn't the plan. Let's get everyone down here. I want this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Everyone up here. Let's see if these guys attack. Okay. Can, are we hiding sufficiently? Let's get up there. Oh, there we go. Yep, they're coming. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Now that they're engaged, uh, we can probably just line up out here and not even worry about it at this point. Uh, it's gonna engage them. Thank the heavens for this. Okay, it's turning around to shoot at me. No, thank you. I don't really know. Oh, it actually killed its target. That's what happened. Holy Bananasaurus Rex. This one's coming in from behind against those guys. And this one's coming in right towards them right now. There's no reason for me to be standing out here or fighting these guys whatsoever. Let's, it's going to shoot one time at us. Let's hop. Oh, yeah! Oh god, Voz! Apparently it's Voz Shava, someone told me in the last comments, which is a pretty cool name. Also in the left leg. Alright, no no worries, boys, no worries. She will make it out. Ooh. What the freaking bananas? I said she will make it out, Tynan. I said she'll make it out. Alright, now she's been shot in the torso. Also apparently, she wait, did she go into a daze and then wander out and then get shot? What the? Is that what just happened? That is literally the most insane timing I've ever seen, if that's the case. Uh, Trog, would you come down here and hide so this guy doesn't have a shot? Beautiful. Absolutely insane. Alright, well, let's have Trog come over here and rescue Vors. Okay, there, these, uh, this pikeman's down shooting these guys in the back. Interesting, and this Lancer's coming over from that direction. Here's the big problem. Monk is dead in seven hours, okay? Now, okay, Trog wants to go down there reason he wants to go down here is honestly it's probably just the best bed we have the way we can fix this though is by finding wherever the heck Boris' room is you know what her room is down there that's why this is the case okay let's throw in a sleeping spot let's put the sleeping spot anywhere there's a light i'm gonna say in here for now that's one that's two that's three all three of these guys are gonna be medical and let's have Trog alert, unalert, rescue in the other direction. Beautiful going inside. Big shots there. Now, what would be great is if they killed some of these Mufalos by mistake, but we'll see. So Charlie J is over here helping. Let's get Jamie right here. Zendrid right there. And then Alma and Yotter. Might make sense for them to go for the flank right now. Get closer to Monk. All right, nice shooting there. I think that was Charlie J that took him out. Yep, Charlie J's bolt action rifle hit the Lancer. Beautiful. Oh no, Vol's getting shot in the back over there. And these melee guys are going after that one. Okay, boys, now's the time. Now is the time. Forget about the flanks. Let's come straight down here. Let them take the brunt of the shots. Woo! Hyena's just charging like a madman. Get in there, hyena. Nice. God, look at this guy. He doesn't care none about nothing. Nothing. What we got over here? Uh, so far so good. Although it does look pretty freaking dangerous, to be entirely honest. So here's what we want to do. Yotter is our best doctor. Let's have Yotter come rescue Monk. 
uh, and then everyone else come out here. It's possible if we can get behind this guy, we can deal some damage. Same deal with Alma. Beautiful. I'm going to try to keep an eye on both situations here at the same time. Nice. Uh, this one down here in the bottom right is taken care of. Let's move all of our range characters behind these trees. I know those trees are there because Bravo Wolf made a funny edit showing that the trees were there. Ooh, another murder. My god. Ooh, you shooting. You better not be shooting. You better not be shooting Yodder. I don't know who the heck he was shooting. Shame he doesn't have the range here. We can get closer, though, I think. And same deal on Zendrid. How are these two guys doing? Yeah, they're fine. They just got a couple of bruises, that's all. Nice, Charlie J. Good hit. Perfect. All right, well, there you go, boys. That is the situation resolved. These guys lost two characters, uh, but that's about it. How's the removal? Oh? This one actually is dead in eight hours. Boy, wouldn't that be cool if it just fell down and it dropped 69 plasteel, 2,000 silver, 44 neutral? I mean, I'm curious if they're going to heal it or not. Hmm, that could be pretty fancy. I would love some food, too. Scrumchy, scrumchy meal. They might be too busy tending to themselves. They might not even know how to tend to animals, to be honest. Let's get Alma off alert here. Fantastic. Now, let's make sure Monk is being tended to. You know, Trog is just sitting here being a moron. He'll take care of it. Beautiful. And then over here, Yotter also is doing the same thing. Reserved by Jamie. No, you take care of it. Let's check Monk. Five hours, fours, seven. Beautiful. Jamie, clean, done. Trade Caravan is leaving. But will their Mufalo make it off the map? Boys, I don't know. I think he will, actually. There's no way for me to really delay them, so... I guess I don't have much to say about it. Six hours. God, so close. Thanks, guys. Very much appreciate it. Yeah, he's gonna make it. Oh, well. That would have been awesome, but oh, well. Now, some micromanagey nonsense. Let's build this down here. I want to take this out. And we want to put in the machining table here pretty soon. This is one of the many things I want to do today. With this, we can deconstruct all of these corpses, of which we're getting a lot. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this expansion is that there's a ton more mechanoids now, and they're way more interesting and varied. Uh, so there's a lot of, like, diverse ways to have to deal with situations. By the way, if I shut this, Alma will never go through it. No one will come through here again. I think this is the smarter way to keep the dogs. Dogs can come in here and eat, and basically no one will go in there unless they have to drop off corpses. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, I think this expansion is really awesome. Like, it used to be that you always had an infinite number of human characters. Like, there was an infinite, just infinite. I had stockpiles of, like, hundreds of corpses just sitting out in the river waiting to rot. And in this campaign, I have no corpses, which means all my animals don't have infinite food. And if you have cannibals, they don't have infinite food either. Uh, and you don't get infinite gear as a result of that. Uh, and you have to respond to them in more ways than the humans. Like, the humans, you basically just shoot for the most part, or lure them into a turret trap. But these guys, you gotta go deal with them, especially when they launch into a forest and try to burn down your entire forest. You gotta go out there and proactively take care of the situation. Basically, this expansion's just 10 out of 10 design, perfect design. That, uh, in addition to adding a whole new builder style victory versus a fighting style victory from the original game, this is exactly what the game needed. Ah, and now we do have a couple of corpses. Fantastic, because the raiders were here, so now the animals have something to eat for a while. Perfect. Beavers! A group of alpha beavers. I haven't seen beavers since, like, Alpha 17. Now, the, these, these things used to be, like, every two seconds you would just get a ton of food. Here's the huge problem. We only have, like, eight trees on the whole frigging map. Uh, and we really need them, because we need the trees to keep the braziers lit. Without them, Charlie J gets angry. So we're going to go 100% beaver murder. Apparently that's something I just said out loud. Okay, 
this is just not enough power for all the things we're running. I really did want to run a smelter for a couple more days to smelt all this stuff, though. Then we'll shut it off. Whoops, obsession, Alma. Alma, really? Do you need to do that, Alma? Do you really need to do it? Wait a minute, you're not going to come up here and take out Mirador, are you? Alma's going to completely ignore her. my uh, forbidding the door here. Yeah, that's exactly what Alma's going to do. Alma, that is sacrilegious. I guess Alma wishes for the times of yesteryear. God, you know, Alma really does look like a camel. But I guess Alma's just not happy with Charlie J being in command. You know, he wants to bring back Alma, or Mirador. He's gonna go check and be like, Mirador, come back, please, are you really dead? Yeah, they don't care if you forbid the doors at all. You're gonna go to that table, Alma? Where are you? Alma, where are you going? Out there? I see, now, it used to be that whenever this happened, the character immediately stopped doing it. Uh, so you could just immediately tell them to go bury them, and now, not so much anymore. So that's actually pretty funny. I have Charlie J bury Mirador. I think it's his duty. I wonder if Alma's going to come re-extract the corpse, actually. There we go. This room is 100% good. Now, one thing we're going to need, I found out, uh, in addition to the ruffle shirt, is a top hat. That's something that Charlie J just really wants right now. Also possible to make him a royal vest. Well, I don't think I need that right away. That's probably the next tier, but I don't think it hurts us uh, to queue it up as well. So we'll take care of that. And let's get that machining table in here. Fantastic. Now, what do we got at the machining table? Disassemble mechanoids, frag grenades, and that's about it. Let's do this forever. Uh, you know what? Let's toggle this off because we just don't have the power for that right now. We'll do one or the other for however long it takes to get rid of all the corpses. Hey, what's Yodder? Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to actually extend this grow zone. All right. Let's expand the zone into basically the whole map. No reason not to. Awesome. This thing is now running and operational. What's the temperature in here? 38, 39. Okay. Actually, nowhere near warm enough. Outside, negative 13, negative 25 Celsius. Yeah, if we want it to grow better, we're going to need another one of these guys. Chasse, the rat, is hungry. Unfortunately, those corpses did not last long. Animals eat through them like ridiculously fast. 67% amazing. Well, we could allow them to go eat the meat, I suppose. For now, that makes some sense. It may even make sense, actually, to have this be a higher priority and allow raw meat. Until we have corpses to put in there, because we have nothing else to feed them. So how are we doing down here? This thing consumes 2,900 watts. These consume 175 each. So that's 3,250. We're producing not even remotely enough. We're going to need three of these guys. We can do it here, but there's a little bit of a block. Instead, we can do one right there. All right. Can we put in a second one? Yeah, we've got all the components and resources. This would be less efficient, but I kind of like the layout better. And also, I can't put it out in the marsh anyway. So this will, this will be okay. It's just a couple of block tiles. Not a big deal. Oh, God, again? What the? Game? So we got one up here, one literally right in front of the base, and one down there again. What the heck? All right, how's Vors doing? And where even is Vors? Cutting a stone block. Looks like everyone's here. Good, let's get the whole colony here. Uh, no, go inside, Olma. Okay, two of them actually landed here. Never mind. They were just showing me where they were at that moment, not where they were going to be. Come on, Zendra, get inside before they open up. Okay, what do we got? One, two, this is a Scyther, and that's the Charge Lance, okay? And then down here, we've got another Charge Lance. Interesting. Let's do this. Let's open this door. The Charge Lance is going to want to shoot through. Okay, maybe we shouldn't open the door just yet. Wait for it to get a little closer, then we'll jump on it. This one's going to melee our windmill. Okay, not good. Let's come outside now. Give this guy something to think about. But very careful, we can get all of our melee characters around the corner and jump them. Look at that. He doesn't know what to think. All right, boys. Let's do it. Boris doesn't even have a weapon anymore. Steel Iqua, 100% right there. Great, Boris, if you'd be so kind. Okay, let's see. And disabled. Beautiful. Come on, boys. Get right here and take them out. 
What's this guy doing? Already shredded our water mill. For sure, that's what that's called. Beautiful. All right, boys. You be so kind. Now, where's the other one before we get caught up here? He's right over there. This is being a beautiful line of sight blocker for us. How, how did Yotter do in that melee? Just a couple of bruises, not too bad. Almost still all the way back here. I forgot to pull him back out. Knew I was short somebody. And Vores is coming back as well. All right, good. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. Now, this one we want to shut down from shooting as well. Ah, there we go. He took the bait. Let's get him. Oh, we just shot Yotter in the back. That was a concern, but I thought it was worth it. Move over here so we don't shoot him in the back. Yotter, you all right? Torso, yeah. He'll be, he'll be fine. Maybe he shouldn't be in there. All right. Not too bad. So with that... Our second mechanoid hive is defeated. We do need another uh, windmill down here, but that's not a big deal. We'll put it together, and voila. Now we have three of these guys over here. That should produce enough. Hey, when it says blocked, did they change this? I could have sworn it still produced some power. Huh. Apparently these days it produces no power. I thought it was just reduced. Maybe that's trees? So, yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll just deconstruct it then and figure out something else. Temporary workers. What's this all about now? Hi, Stellak Anastasia Shadleys. Needs extra hands to help gather the harvest. As I say that, Rice Plant has died from cold. <laughs> He's asking you to lend one colonist to Dominion of Eternity for nine days. After nine days have passed, your colonist will be returned via drop pods. If you accept, a shuttle will arrive to collect one colonist. When it takes off, with them on board, whoever accepted the quest will receive three royal favor. Interesting. The big problem here is I'd want to send Charlie J, but at the same time, I can't afford to. He's by far our best. I do like the concept of that quest, but losing my best shooter for nine days? Boy, that could actually end the colony. I mean, look at how good Charlie J is here. Fifteen shooting. I, I guess I just can't do that one. Voila. Four windmills. And this thing is charging up the batteries, heating up the area fantastic inspired recruitment on monk all right karma has given birth boys where are they where's the pups show me the pups look at them look at little brandy he's got a black coat also shun absolutely amazing we done got ourselves not one but two pups i wish we had something to feed them though that's the problem they just don't have any food oh speaking of beautiful Okay, looks like we have actually disassembled every single mechanoid here, which is great. We really don't need to make any helmets or Molotovs or frag grenades, so my ideal goal here is just toggle this guy off. Let's toggle this one back on until we smelt up all the weapons we don't want. Mmm, gunsmithing. Beautiful blowback. Oh, tailoring seems to have gotten done. Did Charlie ever pick up his hat? Yes, he did. He also picked up the vest. Fantastic. Is he happy now? Yep, looks like he's not unhappy. So they have a negative seven penalty if he's not wearing the right clothes. That's now gone, so great. Okay, many colonists are idle, so it's time to make the base beautiful. Here's the problem. To make the base beautiful, I want to do all kinds of cool stuff from Gloomy. And Gloomy doesn't allow us to do anything whatsoever without wood. Meaning, I'm just gonna have to randomly chop like the eight remaining, literally every single tree on the map. Yep, there we go. That is 100% of trees, except for these three. I will never delete you trees. You're my favorite trees. Every other tree, though, is set to be destroyed. Ooh, this is coming along fantastic. Nice and warm in there. These wind generators are generating wind, windily, some might say. The temperatures in here are fine. They're keeping up no problem. The batteries are running around the clock. We're good. Okay, so let's use... I actually kind of want to use the granite for the walkway. I think it'll make a nice contrast, even though it's better for the traps because it hits harder. 
But let's use the sandstone. Now to put some traps in just key locations where we pretty much always find somebody. Oh, good lord, boys. Stop opening the corpse! Oh, god, boys. Heaven's gonna walk in while Karma and Abron are producing yet more pups. And she's gonna pull a corpse out. My god, not a family-friendly stream, I have to say. Where the heck is she putting her? All the way down here on that table. Really, Vortis? Really? And Charlie J can't even come up here and bury her. Monk, you'll have to do it. Nope, you'll never do hauling. All right, one-handed pirate man, it's all you. Oh, wow. Heel Root's dying due to being left unharvested. Huh. It took so long to grow, it actually died from being old. Interesting. And you know what it is? I think it might be the light hitting those two and they're always going to die. This is our first harvest. Absolutely beautiful. Now we'll have fine meals all winter, basically. Yep, look at that. Zoop! An elk self-tamed? Are you is that is that your plan to get away from me killing you? Not gonna work. Not gonna work, buddy. Letty's secret. Ooh. No, shut up. Shut up, elk. No. Letty's secret's for me, not you, you doofus. Oh look at this. Everyone's coming down here to help out. Let's see Letty's secret. 24-year-old recruiter wants to join us. Hmm, someone's following her, but she's unwilling to say what it is or when it might follow. Yeah, no thank you. That has always been the worst thing in the entire universe. I will 100% pass on that pretty much every time. All right, so we're done on the clothes. We can toggle this guy off. We're done on all the smelting. We can toggle that guy off. And now we actually have an excess of power. Here come our floors. Monk is now getting attacked, unfortunately, by the Mega Sloth that done revenged. You'll be all right, Monk. You'll be all right. Don't worry. You won't get bitten in half by your torso. Not a problem. Ooh, boy. Okay, that's the torso times two. One more torso, and he's literally dead. Come on, Alma, get in there. Woo, it's close. Yeah. Okay, what a good, what a good. Everything's fine, boys. Everything's fine. Woo, that was crazy. Wow, Alma went down and monks in the front. Wow, what the heck is up with this mega slot? <gasps> You gotta be kidding me, Oma almost lost his right leg. One of the things I wanted to do is replace his left leg when I got all that wood. So let's undo, indeed do that. It's all wooden peg leg, left leg. There we go. Whew. Crazy. All right, Yara's putting the peg leg on Alma. And I did use, surgery uses best, so we're using the good meds and voila. Perfect. And given our excessively fortunate affairs, everyone's throwing a party. Come on, Alma, wake up. You can go to it. Charlie J, get in there. Trog, stop. Stop sitting in the freezer with your face to the wall, you doofus. Get into the party. All right, let's see what everyone's about here. Charlie J is like, yeah, nah. You ain't above my station. Disrespected monk's honesty. Oh, my God. <laughs> From across the room, no less. Probably whispering to Yara, he's like, hey, Yara, that monk's a no-good, dirty rascal. I don't know why I just went full southern.
the whole time it was muted. Anyway, we have the opportunity to recreate it, write a little story, a probable poem, as they say, but a story. Well, I was going to hunt the muffalos, but why hunt when they're going to wander right to you, right? Blowback operation and gun turrets. Now, we're going to need steel for those gun turrets, and there really isn't too much left on the map. A couple of things down here and over there, really far away, and one way down there. All right, well, we'll have to do this one then. We actually have so much meat now, I think it's finally time to go back to training the animals to haul. I've got a lot of stuff that needs hauling. Now watch us blow through the meat. Plus, we're, well, we're coming out of the winter pretty soon. That'll be like 12 days. I think we've got enough. Something like 2,500 meat plus 60 meals. We should be okay. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, we'll be okay. I could tame a, <gasps> but then, but then how am I going to feed it? Oh, boy, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it be cool to have a panda bear in the colony? Monk has inspired taming. I mean, the only thing better than this would be a thrumbo. Come on, Monk, let's get down there. 100% happiness, inspired taming. Let's see it. Get the panda in the colony. Panda, slow down, you doofus. You better, you better not. Oh, you better be going to eat that bunny. Whew, thank God. Monk, where are you? Hunting the Mufalo. No, come over here. Okay. Yes! Bizarre. I mean, it's 100%, so it's not surprising, but we done got ourselves a polar bear, boys. Look at that monstrosity. That is freaking cool. I don't know what we'll do with it. I guess we'll make it stick outside for, for now, I suppose. Make sure they have access to the corpse pile. I'm pretty sure they do. Yep. All right, well, we just need corpses to be in that pile, and we'll be good. It might make sense to make an out... Maybe I should make, like, down here the freezer, so the dogs can, like, go inside here to get it, and then the polar bear can go inside the door to get it. Might make a little bit more sense with the corpse freezer down there. But anyway, for now, we'll just kind of wing it while we finish the rest of this. The gigantic construction. A mysterious message has arrived. It seems it was transmitted by a machine persona that refuses to name itself. The message asks that you build a very specific monument. It is 13 by 7, and it will require 270 steel. That's kind of a deal breaker because there's not much left on this map. 20 sandstone blocks, 20 marble, and 92 granite. Well, we can make all that happen. You have to protect the monument for 25 days. Okay. And we get 70 plasteel. That's got to be the worst quest I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Good God, no. By the way, boys, check this out up here on the top right. 100% moods, 100% temperatures. Everything's just beautiful. Mufalo Revenge. Well, it's, uh, you know, almost beautiful. Here's something I've been waiting to do for a long time. It's going to take us a while to get the bricks to finish the road. But at the very least, now that we have some wood, uh, we can light this place up a little bit. Let's go for these basic street lamps. Usually I do these ones. I want to do these ones this time. Uh, street lamp electricity. The second one is actually electricity. It just doesn't say E on it for some reason. And I specifically left these little cubbies for exactly this purpose. Karma is going to have more pups soon, boys. Let's do a few more beautification things, shall we? Uh, I think some marble tea sets sound like they would do very well. Put one over here, and we'll put one right there. Beautiful. Replica flowers on either end of the table, I think. Here and possibly there. Awesome. Ooh, rugs. What kind of... Wow. We have all kinds of rugs. We can do all manner of things. Classic rug 4x4. I like this one. 4x4 light leather. 
put one here and one there. Very fancy. We have 275, so that's just enough for that. Ooh, in Charlie J's room. I reckon we could do a blue for one. Well, there's no fancy way to... I guess on the way in, kind of, you know, wipe your uh, hooves on the carpet, as they say. Now this over here, we could go super crazy if we wanted to. Do something like that. Boom! That just looks super rich. Ooh, and teddy bears. Who wants a teddy bear, boys? We got teddy bears for days. We'll give Charlie J a teddy bear. Jamie can have a teddy bear. Alma can have a... Yotter doesn't have a desk. All right. Yotter, I see the error of my ways right now. I'll done give you a desk. Don't worry about it. And... Such a nice guy. I'll even give you a teddy bear. But you can rotate the teddy bears around, too. Well, that one really should not be like that, then. Teddy bears for everyone. Unfortunately, everything else in here requires uh, some degree of wood, and we really just don't have any wood at all. Except for fireplace electricity. Oh, interesting. We can make that out of some kind of block. Let's say marble. 25 steel, one component, 80 marble. Ooh. Ah, you can stick it right into the wall, too. That's very nice. Well, you know what we could do is put it right there, and it connects right up. Oh, that is beautiful. What about over here? What about two fireplaces on either end in the back? No, over here, no. That's gonna be things later on. How about right here? Oh, this is gonna be beautiful, boys. This is gonna be beautiful. Well, I gotta interrupt the time lapse right before we finish it. A lot of stuff is going on, most notably the blight. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, that should get done extremely fast, so that's one thing. We also got some rare thromboas over here. There's two of them, okay. Now, we could attempt to tame them. Who's our best animal handler in the world? This is what I wanted to use my inspired uh, taming on, but it's such a rare thing, it didn't seem like it was likely to happen. So... Or Sheva. Sheva has a 14. Monk has a 13. Holy bananas. Okay, what is Or Sheva's chance? Revenge chance on tame fail. 1.3. Oh, okay. I guess I was just completely wrong. Well, just in case, let's get the whole colony down here. Or Sheva, get to work. Now, this could go very badly very quickly. I want to make sure I've got Charlie J nearby so we can slow it down if we need to. And then we run away. Where's the other one? I don't, oh, it's down here. I must have set the- I want the pink one. Either way, she didn't listen to me. Okay, I'll make her come out here. Oh, there we go. Prioritize taming the thrombo. I like how I say that, right? And she's like, oh, you mean cut some plants? Sure. Do you think, what the heck? Orsheva could not find more forest work. The remaining work is most likely reserved or not accessible. Who the heck's taming it? There we go, finally. Here we go, boys. Let's see if we can do it. With a f 14 in animal taming. I just now realized Charlie J did not inherit the psionic abilities of Mirador. I wonder if I had to extract them from her corpse, which got eaten. Uh, one of the pups has a psionic transmitter in its stomach. That must have been a fun experience. Huh. Okay. Well, then we're just gonna have to go full out brute force if this fails. One point, yeah, this is what I was talking about. 1.4% chance to tame, 1.3% chance of revenge. Even with a 14 on taming, this is just a colossal waste of time. That's what I always thought, but someone in one of the comments in like two episodes ago mentioned I should try it. This, God, no. <laughs> I'm not going to waste time on that. Wow, look how fast that gets replanted, huh? And gun turrets. Now we're talking, boys. Now we are talking. I'm not too concerned with fire foam in this one since we're doing 100% castle. Smoke pop could definitely be helpful if we could build them. Not sure if we can. Aesthetics would give us a leg that's a slight upgrade for one person. Doesn't quite seem worth it. Flak armor actually makes the most sense, but we'd have to go through plate armor first. 
Now this would allow our melee characters to actually wear something defensive. And unlike in prior games, I haven't been able to find 5 million free things, because there's so many mechanoids and other some such things, so it actually makes a heck of a lot more sense to build it. That's fantastic. Right, we're going to make steel mini turrets. 100 steel, 3 components. Basically, I want to put these uh, behind traps here and here. It makes a heck of a lot of sense. We could probably put some here with a trap next to it. I'm just going to do it kind of symmetrically. So it'd be something like that. And then we got a whole bunch more sandstone traps. So we'll put one in front of every single one. As such, awesome. And there it is, boys. I think this episode has been a success, a resounding success. One of my first goals was build defenses, and I would say going from zero to six turrets is quite the upgrade. We're gonna need more power though to keep those operational, is my guess. Or we could put some, put them on a unified switch system. Might be a little bit convoluted to work out, but I could figure it out maybe between episodes. Uh, the second goal on the list was to make the base pretty, and I'm gonna say it's actually kind of nice. It's like a little Disneyland place here. I like it. We need to get more wood before we can really go full ham with the decorations. Since everything in Gloomy requires wood. Uh, however, how long until we get our wood? 36% grown. Well, fortunately it's going to be spring in about 8 days. So yeah, this stuff is 9% grown. Nine per this doesn't, doesn't even grow, it's so cold up here. We need to double this uh, zone right here. In fact, that zone's not even there. Where the heck did it go? Oh, never mind. It just got shrunk and I was clicking on the middle of it. Let's try to split up our zones so we have at least two. Fantastic. We'll turn this also for pine trees. Great. Now where are those mechanoids going to land, huh? This is working out great. We've got more resources than I even know what to do with here. I can't even click on it all. There's so much of it. 3,000 meat and some odd 50 meals. Research is coming along at a steady rate. Everything's been smelted down. And we've even got most of the animals uh, trained for hauling. I didn't realize that. Wow. So one of the things I did is I canceled this thing here, that stockpile, and this one over here, I set up for stone chunks of all the varieties. So basically, uh, we really don't need to have humans hauling anymore. So everyone who was on haul will just bump them all back to a four, the very last thing they'll do. And essentially, we can just have the huskies, if we wanted to make a, a quick run here, all huskies just go unrestricted for a while. You guys just go do whatever you want, except for the pups. You guys gotta stay inside. It's not safe to go alone. Alright, you know what? Karma 2, it's not safe to go alone when you're having pups. So we'll have four of them going out there, hauling, hauling around all of these chunks, and voila! And I could, if I wanted to, even kill these thrombos, quite frankly. I'm thinking I will. I got three colonists idle, they're so poor, there's nothing to do! <clears throat> so, my future plans involve building a hospital. Uh, additionally, maybe making a little rec center. I'm thinking the hospital will come into this place. Uh, we move this storage down here, maybe like a rec center here-ish and some more bedrooms because we don't have enough for everybody. Bit of an annex to the castle. Uh, additionally, there's a lot of fertile dirt here. We could put three times the size of this if I wanted to go full crazy, but I don't really like these windmill generators. They work, but there's much better ways to get that accomplished, I think. Yeah, things are looking good. Next episode, and maybe time to start focusing more on getting quests done to get our royal nobility up because I'm thinking we're pretty close to being able to house the nobility. Ooh, we could even decorate down here. God, look at this. You guys remember like three days ago when this was like the first thing we ever built? Those were fun times, but yeah, we could upgrade this and the royalty may even like it. Who knows? But yeah, for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. So here's the plan. I'm gonna try to move out a little bit. There we go. Whoa, Monk, where are the water you just about? Get away, Monk, get away. Okay, what just happened? Monk just got shot in the right leg. Whoo, 29 out of 30. Monk, hide. Oh, oh my God, how is this how I start this?